Good morning everybody, Sunday the 11th of April. I just want to do a quick video, it won't be long, no more than 10 minutes. It's in relation to the video I posted three days ago, which has gained a lot of interest. I've had a lot of messages, 99.9% .9 of the messages I've had are outstanding. And for that, I'm very grateful to every single one of you who've taken the time to message me. I would ask to ease upon the messaging. I've still got about 1,500 I just can't get to, either on Facebook, WhatsApp, Telegram, Signal, Messenger. I just can't answer everybody's uh, messages and questions, but it doesn't mean I'm not thankful and grateful. As a result of the message, uh, the video that I put out, I've been contacted by quite a few serving retired police officers serving and retired PCSOs, serving and retired police staff. It's about 30 to 35 people and a number of them are expressing real concern about what's going on. There is one particular message I've received from a serving police officer which I will read out and I've got permission to read it out. Obviously I won't identify that police officer for obvious reasons. But it's a very strongly worded message and it's quite sad. This video I'm addressing to all police officers, all PCSOs, all police staff, serving or retired. The people who have contacted me have actually asked me to do this on their behalf because they've got no voice, pretty similar to the nurses and the teachers. Right, they're fed up too, the police are fed up too. The ones who've contacted me are fed up. It's not what they signed up for. This message is not to patronise or pontificate or preach. I'm doing this with their blessing. They're under strict orders. I know you police officers have been told it's all coming from above. It's been filtered down from the government, down through your senior management, chief of police, inspectors, sergeants, and down to you on the street. And it's you on the street who's suffering the brunt end of this from us, the public. But I've got to ask you, are you aware that you're helping to destroy society? Are you aware that you're curtailing our freedoms? Are you aware that you're punishing the people that you're supposed to be serving? Are you aware that you're making and helping the people of Britain miserable and sad and imprisoned in their homes and afraid to do anything? Are you aware that that uniform now is a sign of hate and control? We don't see you as our friends anymore. Nobody does. You must feel that. But what you're doing is punishing your family, your friends, your children, your brothers and sisters, your neighbours. It's coming to them too, it's not just coming to us. Are you asking questions? Are you curious about what's going on and why? Three weeks to flatten the curve, here we are 14 months later. Are you questioning how and why COVID is so intelligent? At 10 o'clock at night, it knows that it can come for you. Before 10 o'clock in that restaurant or in that bar, you're okay. As long as you sat down, don't stand up because if you stand up, COVID's gonna get you. And if there's more than six of you, oh boy, COVID's gonna get you because it's clever. It can tell the time and it can count. It also knows about status in society. Because it knows if you're rich or poor, it knows if you're famous or a nobody. And as police constables and PCSOs and police staff, are you not questioning this? Are you not looking at this and thinking, hold on a minute, this is a load of rubbish, because it is. Why are you following unlawful orders when you know they're unlawful? Why are you pushing and pushing and pushing the public, us, all of us. For what benefit, for what gain? Are you being blackmailed? Do as you're told or you'll lose your pension. Do as you're told or you'll be disciplined. Because I know, personally, I've been in that situation and it's not nice. And that's how they work. But it's not your job to issue 200 pound fines and make false arrests and abuse your authority of office as a constable. That's not your job, that's not what you signed up for. Haven't you had enough yet? 
Aren't you sick of this? The constant changing of the rules. Because you're supporting the tyranny and the corruption. All chief police officers, sergeants, inspectors, chief inspectors, superintendents, chief superintendents, assistant chief constables, deputy, deputy chief constables. If we know what's going on, then you must not know what's going on. And if you know what's going on, why are you allowing it to happen? Why aren't you stopping this madness? You have to stop supporting them. Say no. Remember the oath, for God's sake. The oath that you signed up to, to protect and serve me and everybody else. To serve the public without fear or favour. Stop serving the government, that's not your job. You're supposed to be independent. That uniform is a sign of independence and protection for the police, not for the government. You're terrorising us, you're making our life a living nightmare. How do you sleep at night? Do you sleep at night? Are you ashamed of what you're doing to decent, good, honest, law-abiding citizens, young and old? It doesn't matter. What you're doing is wrong and unlawful and it's immoral. Wake up. Say no to the people that are forcing you to do this. Take off the helmets and the gloves at these protests. We have a right to protest. We're protesting because we're not happy. Put them down and together we will stop these evil people taking our freedoms. They're taking your freedom too. They're taking your children's future, your grandchildren's future. Not just mine, not just my neighbours, yours as well. What you're doing is participating in this and it's going to come back and hurt you, not just us. Stand down and remember why you joined, to protect us, to support us, not to destroy society and support these psychopaths, because that's what you're doing. This is a message that I've received from a police officer and I've been given permission to read this out in its entirety. And it's a sad message, but it's also very powerful and you'll understand why. In 23 years as a frontline police constable, I am now ashamed of my uniform, ashamed of my colleagues, ashamed of my force, ashamed of my chief police officers, because they are driving this mark by following this awful government agenda. I go home after a shift and I never want to put that uniform on again. I throw my warrant card into my locker and really believe I will never return. Until I saw your video two days ago, I really did not know. I never had the power to stop people under this COVID legislation. I really didn't, it shocked me so much because you're right, we don't have the power to stop and ask you to account for your movements. I'm abusing my powers. I'm issuing fines that I shouldn't be arresting. Issuing, I do apologise. I'm arresting people for, for refusing their names and addresses and I don't have that power to arrest, but I'm doing it. I'm making unlawful arrests. I'm a senior, well-respected police constable in a huge major city, in a big station. And if I don't know, then we really are in trouble. No wonder the public hate us. Because truth be told, Mark, I hate us too. We do talk about it, but quietly, of course we do. We have had enough, of course we have, but we can't say it too loudly. But they push that zero tolerance button every shift, every briefing, with that magical quote, which I'm sure you've heard many times in the past, Mark. This has come from the top. They keep saying it, and you know it's come from the chief. We're getting constant emails from the gaffers and the skippers. We don't know which way to turn. We're confused, and we understand why you're confused. But I can't and I won't keep doing this. I watch and I take part as we blindly follow these hideous orders while wearing masks, 
of which we are legally exempt. I go home with a thumping headache every single day and I know it's this bloody mask, but it's forced policy, you have to do it. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. I was inspired by your video. You are a very brave man and there was nothing I couldn't disagree with. Everything you said was on the money. We have all become Boris's bitches. Your video really brought it home to me. Well, no more. No more tickets. No more wears your mask. No more stopping law-abiding decent people. I'm not doing this anymore. I am a father. I am a brother, a son, a friend, a neighbour. And I am supporting this devastating destruction of our society. I will be talking to my colleagues. I will be addressing management. I know how that will end up, Mark, as I'm sure you do. They don't like this kind of th uh, dissent. I don't sleep too well because I've always known this is wrong, but payday and pensions seem to get in the way. I'm prepared to challenge this now, and it's ironic that I'll be using the very same legislation you posted on your video to go to my bosses and show them what we're doing is wrong. Isn't this ironic, Mark? But well done. Please be careful. You know they hate people who speak up against the establishment, especially when it's the truth. You please, will you please get this message out? More and more police need to be woken up. They need to realise we are being used and abused and we have to remember our role. We do police by consent. You are absolutely right about this. And I did sign up to protect and serve the people, not ponder to Boris and his government. Keep safe. Thank you very much for being so brave. You have my utmost respect and it's a pity you're not still donning the uniform. Maybe if you were, we wouldn't be in this mess. Best wishes, L. It's a very strong message. And you can see the despair in that police officer's message. He's putting it out there. 23 years is a long time and they know and I'm asking all police officers, all PCSOs, all police staff to wake up to what's going on. Start questioning what's being done because it's, it's unlawful, it's illegal, it's immoral, it's unethical, it's inhumane. Remember your policing principles that you were taught at college. Remember the standards of professional behaviour. Are you aware of the offences that are being committed right now across the UK by the government? Misfeasance in public office, misconduct in public office, conspiracy to commit grievous bodily harm, gross negligent manslaughter, corporate manslaughter, corruption, fraud, blackmail, murder, conspiracy to commit murder, terrorism, genocide, torture, false imprisonment, multiple breaches of our human rights, crimes against humanity, Administering a poisonous and noxious substance with intent to cause harm. Yes, the vaccines. You are facilitating this. Please stop. They can't just keep changing the laws to suit their agenda. That's not a democracy, that's a dictatorship. You have the power to end this nightmare but you also have the power through ignorance to let it continue. Which one will you choose when you put that uniform on today or tomorrow or next week? I hope you choose to stop this nightmare. Please side with the people. That was your role, that is your oath. Please stop destroying this country. Please stop destroying the people. Take off your masks. You don't need them. Show us your faces. Show us your humility. Show us the respect and stop making unlawful arrests. Put down your helmets, put down your gloves and walk with us, beside us. If you all do it, there's nothing they can do. Thank you very much for listening and I'm sorry if this came across as patronising. That's my, not my intention. I just want you to wake up and realise what you're doing is wrong.
be safe out there.